What's good, Garrett gang? Today, I will be talking to y'all along with my cousin, Maya. And we're going to discuss our opinions on men. Uh, so, and we, I'm sorry. And we are doing day 32 of the 100-day challenge with Miss Peach McIntyre. Your girl is might be, your girl is behind and I'm sorry. But I'm going to catch up on all them videos. So, Come on with your girl, and I promise you. And if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. That little bell, what that little bell do is, uh, not only will you be subscribed to my channel, but you will receive a notification every time I get on, uh, post a video on YouTube. So come on with your girl. So, to start off, I don't know. What you want to say, Maya? She pregnant, y'all. So this coming from a pregnant person's point of view, okay? She is not always like that. So she kind of <laughs> pregnant right now. <laughs> so y'all, this conversation might go left quick. <laughs> so, Maya? Do you like James all the time? <laughs> sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. But sometimes we have our ups and downs, but that's in a relationship. Yeah. And to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, I love him, but I mean, we have our ups and downs. So everybody has their ups and downs in a relationship. Everybody don't, we don't agree on everything. True. You know what I'm saying? So everybody have they you know, everybody don't agree. That's a relationship though. Yeah. Everybody gonna fuss. Everybody, you know, they gonna get into it. But then you'll end up, you know, right back. If you love a person, you would wanna go through that if you love that person. True. That's you know. Period. Me. See, she like him sometimes and sometimes <laughs> she don't. I mean, that's that's normal. That's all us women. We like the men sometimes, and yeah. sometimes we don't. So that's truthful. Um, um, do I like Rico all the time? I like him majority of the time. Because sometimes a man can be right, even though... Us as females don't want to give them the credit to say that they right. We don't want to hear that. At that time, we just like, no, you're not right about everything. But sometimes they do, a majority of the time, they do be right. I got to give it to them. Um, like she said, basically, you got your ups and your downs. So, basically, I guess we can agree to that. We can agree. Um... Um, I'm trying to think of something else. When you, I guess we can pretend like we're having a conversation. Um, not pretend, but sometimes when you're talking to your significant other and they have their opinions about your family, do you feel like sometimes they write, but you don't want to admit to it? Or you feel like they wrong and you don't think they should say nothing about your family? I mean, in my situation, I feel like it depends on what, you know, what they talking about or what they ask me. I look at it like, okay, if he, you know, telling me about something that, something that's serious, like, you know, something like, well, babe, you need to fall back from doing a little stuff, the stuff that you mostly do because they take it for granted. Then I'd be like, well, yeah, I will. I understand, you know, because we got an agreement on that. But at the same time, you know, sometimes I look at it like I can't, you know, my family, I'm not going to say I put my family first because, you know, sometimes I do. But sometimes when my family in the wrong, I will be like, well, yeah, you're right, babe. You're right about, you know, that situation. And I would have his back. Some people probably don't agree with me doing that, but I'll be like, Okay, I'm gonna have his back on that because he is telling the truth. Yeah. That's just me. Everybody's different. 
I had to learn the hard way. There's something I had to learn the hard way. Mm-hmm. Everything that your parent, your family, I ain't going to say parents. I don't know why I said parents. But everything that your family say and do is not always correct. Yeah. yeah. So, if it's something pertaining to your situations at that time, whatever yeah. it might be, mm-hmm. sometimes you got to listen to that other person because that that they see stuff that you would never see. Yeah. They'll see things that they can see the good in your family, even though, because you grew up around that. So it might be just day-to-day stuff for you. Yeah. You, you know, and you might, you might feel like it took me to hear what other people were saying about me behind my back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this, if you, I feel like this, if I say something once, and I said on my YouTube page, and you don't like what I'm saying, or you and my family, you don't like what I'm saying. If you call me or or inbox me, I'm going to say it twice because guess what? I'm a woman of my word. Yeah. Don't sit there and talk about me behind my back yeah. when you can say all that stuff in my face. Yeah. Don't go around talking about nobody behind their back. Mm-hmm. So with that conversation being said, I've been, you know, He's never told me to cut my family off. Even yeah. some of the people in my family said I need to let go of some of the people in my family. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's different hearing it from your significant other or somebody that's not inside your family. And they see stuff that you just don't want to see. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You know, because they will drag you. They will drag you if you allow them to. And sometimes family will tell you stuff that ain't true. Yeah. Period. Because they want to save face. To, don't save face with me. Tell me the truth. Be blunt. No. I prefer you to come and be honest with me. Vice versa. Telling me a lie. And then I'm going along with the lie. Yeah. When you sitting there behind my back talking about me. Yeah. That stupid. Or... She, she, she do like, I, what I don't understand is why is family so, this is another question. Why is family so judgmental? Like, how can you judge the next person when you're doing the same, you did the same thing I did. Okay. And then some of the families that's judging you is still in the situation. Yeah. They ain't moving that situation. They still there. Yeah. So how can you tell me something when you doing this? Mm-hmm. Okay, I know you might want my outcome to put, be different, mm-hmm. but, but that's what they say. Is it true? Is it because you just don't like that person? Your you don't agree with the person that that your your family is with? Yeah, yeah, no, it is. I, I just want to know. We being real. We yeah. we we gonna be real on this channel. Yeah. Period. Pooh. That's true. Ain't no kids here. We gone. They gone. Yeah. So we gonna be real. Yeah. Like don't be fake. They, stop. I want everybody. If you got family members, let them listen to this. Mm-hmm. Do not pretend to like. Your family significant other because you want to be fake. That person will prefer you to be real than being fake. Yeah. Tell them you don't like them if you don't like them. Yeah. Be real. Be real. Mm-hmm. Just like the skin on your body is real. Be real with that person because they'll respect you more. Don't wait till that other person, you got daughters, you got sons, you don't like your daughter or son, significant other, tell that person you don't like them. Mm-hmm. It'll be easy. You and your child, your your child's boyfriend or girlfriend, or y'all decide whether y'all want to be around each other or whatever the case may be. Uh, find out why they don't act the way you want them to act, but there's no program people in this world. You cannot program somebody to be who you want them to be. It don't work like that. It don't. Sorry. People was raised the way they was raised. They might not want you to go around 
uh, saying what you say or saying what you think you big enough to say because that ain't cool. And and another thing, you got to learn to accept the criticism they're going to say about you too because there's always two sides to one story. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Always. Your child ain't always right. They significant other is not always right because guess what we are at the end of the day? Human. Mm -hmm. Human. So, I always say on my videos, God's not finished with me yet. So, that's on you how you take this video. It is what it is. Until next time, we'll see you later.